What's going on guys, it's Fatty Manson here from Real Results Fitness and in this video what we're going to learn how to do is a proper hyperextension. So with this movement, it's going to work your lower back, your hamstrings and some glutes. Uh, so what you want to make sure you don't do with this movement is hyperextend. I see people doing this in the gym all the time and that's going to ruin your back. First things first is going to set up the machine so it creases right at your hips. This part right here should be creasing right at my hips. If it's above that or a little below that, you might feel strain on your knee or your hips a little too much. We're doing this movement. What we want to do is put our feet back in there, walk ourselves into place, go down as far as we can, and come up and spin. You don't want to get past this and start curving your back, okay, so you don't want any kind of lumbar extension, you don't want your lower back to curve. Yeah. That's the way not to do it. Okay. So a lot of people, a lot of people will do it this way, and the reason being is because you feel a great stretch in it, but what it's doing is putting a lot of pressure on your spine, so we want to avoid doing that. What you want to do is try being basically flat with the bench, so let me show you what I mean. So I can still go to that top portion and still flex my glutes and my hamstrings and tighten my lower back. We don't want to go too far up. I'm going to demonstrate it how to do it with the weight now. Don't do this, guys. Don't start using your momentum for the movement. You really want to focus on the muscle that you are working and uh, focus on the task at hand. That's how we're going to do a proper hyperextension. <laughs> 